Hi there. Today we're going to start exploring the different card types that you can use when building your Home Assistant dashboards. When we start building our Home Assistant dashboards, the key things that make up these dashboards are cards. So if we look here, for example, you can see that we've got a whole heap of different card types in this dashboard. Now you'll see some of the cards have got graphs, for example. Others are used for controlling things like lights and others are batched together here in a grid format to fit them into a smaller space. So what we're going to do is have a look at the different card categories and then we're going to have a look at how we can customize each one of these cards to work perfectly for your Home Assistant instance. So first of all, there are a number of different types of cards. We have device types, and these could be things like lights, media controls, calendars, etc. We've got grouping. So for example, a grid card where you've got multiple individual cards within a grid layout. Then we've got displaying generic data. So this can be things like sensors, gauges, and graphs. We've got control devices, so buttons and entities. And then we've got display data. So things like picture elements or area cards. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna start this off by having a look at the device type cards. So the first one we're gonna have a look at is a light card. So what I'm gonna do is open up my Home Assistant. I'm gonna go into settings and I'm gonna go down to dashboards and I'm gonna create us a new dashboard in order to start setting up these different cards. So we're gonna go new dashboard. Now you have two choices. You can go default, which would put a whole lot of icons or entities already on there, but we're gonna start with a new dashboard from scratch and we're gonna call it the card dashboard just because we're gonna be demonstrating cards. So you'll see it's created our dashboard, a blank dashboard there. We can press the little pen over here to edit that dashboard. You'll see that a default comes up with a title and a badge that you can select, but we're gonna start by creating a section and inside of this section, we're going to add a card. So you can either search using the search over here or you can scroll down to select the different cards. So say for example, we wanna start with a light card. Once we select a light card, you'll see that it selected a default light as the entity, but we wanna select our own. So when I click the drop down over here, you'll see that it is offering me selections of any of the devices of type light that are showing within Home Assistant. So I might, for example, want to select the light strip. It's a WLED light strip that is operating behind my TV. So I'm going to select that. Once we've done that, we might want to call this the TV strip, for example, so we can give it a customized name. We can also select a customized icon. So you'll see it's defaulted to this strip icon, but we could select any other type of icon from in, with the, in the Home Assistant icon list. We can also change the theme of this card. So for example, we want to might want to go with a black blue theme looking like that. Dark themes are obviously pretty popular nowadays. We can then select visibility. So say for example, we wanted to go in and we wanted to say that this card is only available for this user. I can select my users. Now I've only got two users in the system at the moment, but I'm just gonna say for user Simon. And then we can select the layout. So this is the size that this individual card will show within Home Assistant. We can either go for a full width card, which will be the full width of the section, or we can change it by moving the slider. If we go into precise mode, you'll see that it gives us a lot more control, different components to control it. So we can go now save, and there we go, we've got our first card. Next up, we'll have a look at the gauge card. The gauge card is really useful for displaying information of a certain value. So once again, we're gonna select our entity uh, that we wanna be displaying. So I'm gonna select CO2 this time, carbon dioxide, really useful to know how much ventilation we've got. 
I'm going to give it a name. So we're going to call it bathroom CO2. There we go. The unit is parts per million. We'll leave it at that. Um, we could select a theme, for example. Um, now, one thing over here we want to do is we want to set a minimum and a maximum because with CO2, it never really goes below 400. So I'm going to select 400 as my minimum and my maximum, I'm going to select 2000. I've got a reasonable amount of ventilation in my house, so it's very like, unlikely to go over 2000. Next, we're going to say we want to display this as a needle. So we click that little button. And what we also want to do is we want to display the severity by different colors. So we can click that and you'll see it's all gone red. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say I want it to be green from 400, then become yellow when it becomes 750, and then red when it is 1000. Finally, I'm going to go and add a to-do list card. So in order for this, you do need to create a list, first of all. So you need to go along to to-do lists and add a list like you can see here. I've got a shopping list. So we'll just go back to our card overview, edit, and we'll go along here and we're going to add that to-do list. So there we go, to-do list. And with this one, you'll see here that we can either select that we want to hide the completed, we can hide the add field if we don't want, and then we can select how we want them to be displayed, alphabetically A to Z or Z to A, or also the due date first or last. So now if we want to place a whole lot of cards within a grid, we can select the grid card. So there we go, we've got our grid. And then what we do is we start selecting. So we might, for example, want to have a button card. We can go plus and we might want to add a clock card. This is a new card that's just been released. And then we may want to go along and add, let's see what else we can find here. Let's say a gauge card. So it's going to give us three on the top row. And we can add some more. We can say, for example, we want to have a, a light card and we'll do a another button card. And finally, we'll put a, let's see, another entity card. So if we now save that, we can see there that we've got six different cards within a grid. So I hope this has given you a bit of an idea of how you can use cards to start building up your dashboards. In part two, we'll have a look at some of the other types of cards and just continue working on this and helping you to grow your home assistant. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.